What's up, everyone, to a little bit of a introduction to what's to come this May 16th. Looks like Power Ranger Legacy Wars dropped a hidden video. Pretty much a great disturbance makes its way to the morphing grid. Discover the mystery this Wednesday, the 16th. So pretty much what this is saying is we're getting something new, a new ranger. Automatically going to be a new ranger because we haven't got one in a while. So in this video, we're going to do our best predictions on what's to come to Power Ranger Legacy Wars this May. So, without further ado, let's get started on what I have to say. Start things off with Diva Talks. I mean, yes, I, I keep saying, I know you guys think Diva Talks isn't coming, but you know my mind is still set on that first list that was ever dropped in Power Rangers Legacy Wars, where Diva Talks was on that list with Rito, Scorpina, Drakina. Everyone was there on that list, and they were coming into the game. I don't, see, I don't know if Enway trashed the list. I feel like they're still going by it in a certain way, just taking intervals with these characters. I don't know, but Diva Talks will be coming. Her moveset will probably be weird, probably kicks, probably like Diva attacks, maybe, because she's a Diva. That's just my first prediction on this character that could be coming, but I highly doubt it. But this is pretty much one of my list characters that I always say, they're coming to the game regardless, they have to, they were on the list. <laughs> Next is Scorpina. I know Scorpina would be an interesting pick. Be like a better Goldar, maybe better poke damage. Maybe she'll be an epic, but a better Trakina with like mirror combos, if anything. But she'll have like a scorpion tail. Be cool to see Scorpina in the game just to finish off our Mighty Morphin bunch with the villains and the rangers. Pretty much the mains that were in Mighty Morphin. And Scorpina was like one of those mains in the very first season. So I can see this character coming to the game. With that sword of hers, that armor, just doing damage, doing some flips. Who knows? Just be interesting. Trakina try to replace Goldar, even though Goldar is already bad. Still needs work, but Trakina, Trakina, Scorpina could replace uh, Goldar in the bad section by Trakina being the best gold character in the game. <laughs> Anyways, on to our next character, guys. <sighs> I'm not. I'm not giving up on this character. I, I can't give up on this prediction. Lunar Wolf is gonna come eventually he will be in the game it it's got to happen he was on the list too with scorpina and diva talks there was only three there's only three characters left from that list and then anyway can trash the list in general lunar wolf diva talks and scorpina lunar wolf has to come to the game regardless of his color the predator is in the game so let's put lunar wolf in or zanaku either or is good so we can have like a nice roster of characters, especially Lunar Wolf. And you know, Timmy Boy will be happy. He's going to spend all of his money, yada, yada. <laughs> but you know, Lunar Wolf, great ranger, good backstory. He can really do damage with that Crescent Moonblade. Probably be a breaker. He'll do like a run and a flip, just like in the show. So that would be cool. And he'll have his pool table attack, which will be cool too. You can't have the pool. You need the pool table. That's like his ultimate attack. It's free. But that's going to be another one of my predictions that the range that could possibly be coming to Power Rangers Legacy Wars this May 16th. Now, let me get to a character that I really are having high hopes since that message said there was a disturbance in the morphing grid. Pretty much Ranger Slayer. Yes, Ranger Slayer has just been announced since the GoGo Power Rangers Saban issue number 9. It's Ranger Slayer. This was the new Ranger that was getting predicted, was getting shown. And pretty much this was the person on the front cover in that red explosion. Pretty much it's Kimberly from the future. She has a shit life. Comes back. Worships Lord Draken. Looking for Tommy. Tommy's not even there. So she's in the wrong dimension before they even met Tommy. So it's actually interesting seeing this. But Ranger Slayer could have some awesome combos with that double bladed freaking sort of darkness. Where she can like spin it or stuff. She can shoot arrows. So she'll have like, she'll be like a V2 Kimmy. As much as I don't want it to be V2K, I just say Ranger Slayer. With like all of her arrows and stuff, and believe it or not, this would actually boost sales at Enway. Profits would go up. People would want Ranger Slayer. People would put money into that. Probably max it out to seven, max, maybe five. Just so they can just wail on this comic book character because everyone loves a good comic. But before this next prediction, we're going to go over the picture and pretty much tell you what has come to flourishing. Okay, what you see in this picture are a bunch of rangers, correct? Now, what you don't know is this picture was dropped before TJ dropped. As in, this picture had Andrews and TJ on the left and right. And what NY did is they dropped TJ right after this Shattered Grid comic little drop thing. So I'm like, this is supposed to be hints. Because not only did TJ drop, look who else is on the front cover. Jen. 
Now, Renesa brought this to my attention. I'm like, actually, you're kind of right. If this is what they're trying to predict, that means we're going to see either one of these two teams in action. Could we possibly see Kira? Yes. We're definitely going to see Shadow Ranger because they're under the radar. So Shadow Ranger's coming regardless. It could be him or it could be Lunar Wolf. We'll have to wait and see. Or it could be one of the RPM Rangers because we don't have RPM yet. And RPM is on this cover. So anyway, he likes to throw little hints there. So this can actually work in their favor to give us a first RPM Ranger. So I just wanted to go over this picture in particular because it just shows like it hints at the characters that are coming to Legacy Wars. Which was TJ who did come. Jen who did come. We already had Kendall. So the only thing left is, is Kira, the RPM Rangers, and Shadow Ranger. Pretty much those top Rangers that are going to be coming through that grid this May 16th. And it's very true. This is like the truest story. Like I can't believe it because it is true. Because TJ didn't get, drop until this picture released. And TJ was on the cover. And then Jen dropped, even though Jen is Shattered Grid, but she was on the cover. So this is just telling us we might be getting RPM or Kira or Shadow Ranger or some new SPD Ranger. All right, guys, that's all the predictions I have for you today. Thanks for watching this video. Please hit that like button and subscribe for more Power Rangers content, gaming, and all that good stuff. I'm your host, Wolf Thunder Ranger, and I'm signing out. Be good, fam.